This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. In this video, I'm going to show you three ways to fix analog stick drift. The clips in this video were taken from other videos that I've done in the past, but I wanted to make one video dedicated to all the ways that you can fix analog stick drift, so let's just get right into it. The first way, and the most common way that I've done it in the past, is just replace the entire analog stick, but the problem with that is it does require a hot air station and soldering skills. So another way that you can fix some of these issues is to just clean the potentiometers from the inside. Now this method doesn't always work, but if they've gotten wet or there's some sort of liquid damage in there, then sometimes that can work. The third way and my current favorite way is to replace just the potentiometer. Now this doesn't always work in every situation, but if the analog stick is just drifting on one of the planes, then you usually can just replace that one potentiometer. So with that all being said, let's get to the repairs. Now I'm gonna heat all these solder joints up at once with my hot air station to let this old analog stick drop out the bottom. There's several ways you can install the new stick. One of them is to just keep all the solder joints liquid and then push up the new analog stick through the holes. One of the difficult things about that is that all of this solder has to be liquid all at the same time and all of these little pins have to line up with the holes in the motherboard. Now if you watch my PS4 controller repair video, you watch me just push this up through the holes and that can work fine if you if you get some practice and get good at it. I'm gonna show you another way to do it where I keep the solder melted one hole at a time and use a solder sucker to clear out the hole and then I will push up this analog stick through the holes and then manually solder each joint. I am using heat resistant gloves. This is not necessary, but it does make it easier when I need to pull this stick out or if I was gonna push this new stick up through the holes while the heat was still applied. These just help keep my hands protected a little bit from the heat. And here's the old analog stick. Here's the new analog stick. And now all the solder is cleared out of all the holes. And I can push this new analog stick up through the holes. I do wanna make sure that it is aligned nice and flat on the board, which this one is. So now I can solder all the joints on the bottom of the board. And there we go, how's it look? All of these little joints are all soldered on correctly, nice and shiny. I did fix this joint, I don't see any other problems here, so I think now it's time to get it back in the controller and give it a test. Okay. And each time I press them, these light up. And they also don't drift. Replacing the entire analog stick is the most difficult way to fix analog stick problems, but it is sometimes the only option. As much fun as it is fixing motherboards, what's even more fun is making your own. And JLC PCB is one of the best companies for custom printed circuit boards. They also make ordering super easy. All you have to do is make an account on jlcpcb.com, then you upload your design, after that you add specifics about your order, then all that's left is making your payment, entering your shipping address, and a few days later, you get a box that looks like this. Founded in 2006, JLC PCB has been at the forefront of the PCB industry. With over 14 years of continuous innovation and improvements based on customer needs, they've been growing fast and becoming a leader in global PCB manufacturing. JLC PCB provide rapid production of high reliability and cost-effective PCBs and creates the best customer experience in the industry. They have over 800,000 customers, 20,000 orders daily, and 99.8% customer satisfaction. Most deliveries only take two to four days, 
They have a 99.97% on-time delivery and 24-7 online service. Thank you again to JLC PCB for sponsoring this video, and if you're looking for custom printed circuit boards, go to jlcpcb.com. Now I'm going to try the cleaning method. If you watch this part when I move the analog stick, you'll see that it moves just like that. That's because inside this piece, there is what's called a potentiometer, and that little potentiometer inside there can get dirty and gunked up and sometimes just worn out. So what I'm gonna do is remove a clip over here and remove a clip over here and slide this potentiometer piece out so we can get a look in there, clean it all up, and then do the same on this side right here. Now with that piece pried off, I can remove this piece, just like that. So this shows the inside piece of the potentiometer. There's little indents right here that contact the inside rings on this part of the analog stick down here. So I need to clean all those up and I need to clean these rings up on this part and this part. Then we'll put it back together and see if that actually fixes it. A lot of people want to know how to fix these without soldering new ones on, and this is one way that sometimes will work, so let's see if it works in this case. Now I'm going to use a cleaning swab that doesn't have any pieces, like a cotton one would, just to make sure that none of the pieces get stuck inside this ring. Now with this cleaned off and the rings inside the analog stick cleaned off, I can put this one back together and then clean this side. And now that one is clipped back on. Now we can do the same for the other side. Okay, now both of those potentiometers have been cleaned. Let's get it hooked up to my computer and see if that fixed it. And unfortunately, it did not fix this issue. So sometimes that's a method that can work, but unfortunately in this case, it did not. So I'll be replacing that joystick along with this other joystick as well, as they both show that they are faulty. I did want to show you why sometimes cleaning these analog sticks just doesn't work. If you look closely, you can see right here these marks on this black track. That's where these little pieces of metal ride, and that's how the analog stick registers which way you want your character to go. You'll also notice these marks right here and right here that corresponds with this metal piece and that metal piece. So looking at these marks on the black tracks, you can just see how the black part is just worn down. There's pretty deep grooves on here and right on here, and that's right where these metal pieces ride. So unfortunately, there's just not enough good contact there for the analog stick to register which way you want your character to go. So unfortunately, cleaning did not work for me in this repair, but as I said, sometimes it can work, especially if there's a little bit of liquid inside the analog stick potentiometers, then just cleaning out that liquid can sometimes get those working. Now for the third and final method, replacing just the potentiometer. This is my current favorite, as it is a lot easier than replacing the entire analog stick, but do note that you will need some soldering skills to do this. So I did just mark right here to make sure I didn't get confused which one I needed to replace. So I'm going to flip this over and remove the solder on the three joints that hold it on, then slip a new one in and solder it down. So the first method I'm going to try is a solder sucker. You can either use a solder sucker or you can use solder wick to remove the solder off of the joints. Now I'm going to release this potentiometer and then finish getting all the solder out of the joints.
Now we have most of the solder out of the joints. I'm gonna wiggle this around and should be able to get it pulled out. And there we go. So that is the faulty potentiometer. Now I'm going to put a new one in, get it soldered in, and then we'll test it and see if that fixes it. Okay, and the new potentiometer has been fitted. So now all I have to do is solder it back on and then we can test it. The left one has zero drift. So that method definitely works. So it's just another way if you're having a problem, especially if you're having a problem only one axis, that means you can just go in and replace that one specific potentiometer and you don't have to do the entire analog stick. So those are the three ways to fix analog stick problems. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a good one.